Welcome back, truckers. This is Kennedy Mays and Chandler Thompson here give you the scoop from the Trucker News Network. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. And now let's... And now let's recite our CGMS affirmation. Today, I'll take ownership of my learning experiences. Today, I am guided by my GPS. G, give respect. P, power toss responsibilities. And always remember S to the first, because CGMS is my GPS for success. Attention eighth graders. This week, you will take your English 8 writing SOL. On Thursday, March 24th, will be the d direct writing portion. The library will be closed during testing. Remember to study hard. Good luck. Truckers, the course program is having a cookie dough and popcorn fundraiser. Each cookie dough box weighs 2.5 pounds and includes 41 ounce cookies. Popcorn comes in half gallon and one gallon bags as well. Students that wish to purchase any items, please see Mr. Rivera in room 109. Charms will be selling snacks several days a week starting at 2.15 and during dismissal. On Wednesdays, we offer a snack pack option for $5. The snack pack will come with one hot dog, chips, and a choice of a drink. These snack packs must be ordered in advance. To place your order, check, on, check for the link in your email or click on the link in the description below. Students, remember to visit the online truck stop on your Class Dojo Class Story page. You may place orders Monday through Wednesday. On Friday, you can pick up your orders in the cafeteria during your lunch. Keep following our GPS and earning those trucker bucks. Manor High School will host Chart Your Course Night on Wednesday, March 23rd, and I.C. Norcom High School will, will host Chart Your Course Night on Thursday, March 24th at 6 p.m. Eighth grade students who are zoned for these schools are encouraged to attend to learn more about high school scheduling options and extra extracurricular activities. Attention 8th graders, the deadline for you to apply to the TCC Early College Program is April 1st. In order to qualify, students will need three high school credits before they enter 9th grade and maintain a 3.0 grade point average in those classes. For more information, visit your charter course page on the CMS website. Picture Day is coming Wednesday, March 23rd. March 23rd. For prepayment information, ask your teacher for a form. Students, want to participate in the this or that survey for the yearbook? Just look for the link in your e email today or click on the link in the video, video description below. The survey will close at the end of the day on Friday, March 25th. Hello and welcome to the Churchland Middle School Chorus Program. Here we strive to provide students with an outlet that allows you to express yourself through the wonderful world of music. In this video, you will hear from our director, Mr. Rivera, catch a glimpse of what it means to be inside a chorus rehearsal and hear a few words from actual students inside the program. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Rivera and I'm the chorus director here at Church in the Middle. My main objective here is obviously to help you become more developed, to develop your voice, to sing as one with all of your classmates, but also to provide you with a safe space, to provide you with somewhere where you feel like you can be expressive, to where you feel like you can learn something that's useful that you can use for the rest of your life. It's, it's really, let me see the all the different parts of music and how each of them are equally important in every way. And I'm very thankful for that. It alters how I listen to music and how I hear it. Here at Church in the Middle, we run on an A and B day schedule, which means in my class, which is all year long, as a seventh grader, you would have me Tuesday and Thursdays, every single week. And then my eighth graders, I see Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now the courses that I carry, I have an eighth grade intermediate class, an eighth grade beginning, and I have seventh grade beginning classes as well. Uh, he's very exciting and uh, he puts a lot of effort into the assignments and uh, lesson plans for us. He gives a lot of different types of songs to 
sing and everything. These are the risers! We do a lot of small things in this class. For instance, consistency wise, we come in, we warm up, we do physical exercises, breathing exercises, singing exercises of course. We have a repertoire or other music that we learn throughout the year. We have a winter concert and we have a spring concert. And there's also other opportunities for you while you're in these performance arts classes. Like for instance, district chorus, or there's all Virginia choir, and there's even all city events that allow you to have opportunities for you to grow as a musician, as an individual, and as a student. The music is relatively easy once I get the hang of it. It's kind of frustrating at first not knowing really the words or what to do and maybe coming in at the wrong time. But other than that, it's very fun and pretty easy. So if you're looking for a place to come, have fun, make friends, learn how to sing, and just connect through music, this is the place for you. Again, I'm Mr. Rivera, and I hope to see you next year. And now it's time for our Club Corner. Attention give the students. Get the class will be asynchronous for the month of March. We will resume in-person classes on April 5th. If you have any questions, please reach out to Ms. Fly or Ms. Key. And now let's go over to our sports stop. In the way practices, cheer competition will take place today from 3 to 7 p.m. Girls and boys track girls and boys track practice will also take place after school today from 3 to 5 p.m. Finally, oh. finally, boys and girls soccer and girls softball will all have practice today after school from 3 to 5 p.m. For additional updates about athletics, please visit our website. Sally Ride was an American astronaut, physicist, and engineer. Born May 26, 1951 in Los Angeles, she joined NASA in 1978 and became the first American woman in space in 1983. Ride was the third woman in space overall after two USSR cosmonauts. Ride remains the youngest American astronaut to have traveled to space having done so at the age of 32. After flying twice on the Orbiter Challenger, she left NASA in 1987. She died on July 23, 2012. Well, that's all for the Teenage Newsroom. Have a great day and we will see you again next time.